what now? So it says now that one isotope of lead, right, which is given right here, um, is, can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, so it says one isotope of lead is not stable, but can undergo exactly three distinct decays of an alpha or beta particle to become stable lead. Okay, and it says now that with reference to the information in table five, we're to write a possible sequence of three nuclear equations that can result in the formation of stable lead from unstable lead. So now for this now, what, are, what we're gonna have is, um, so are we gonna use this table right here to assist us? So what we have essentially is that we have this lead, which is unstable, right? Um, this is what again, 82. So um, this is 210. So we have unstable lead, and we want it to form stable lead. And they say that this unstable lead, this unstable lead, this is unstable. Is there is that a question or a reason something? That lead is the isotope. Yes. Same atomic number, different mass number. So we have this unstable lead to form stable lead. And the examiner says that it can undergo a sequence of three distinct decays of an alpha or a beta particle, right? And we're given some information right here. So we're given bismuth, which has an atomic number of 83, and we're given polonium, which has an atomic number of um, 84. Right, so bismuth. Beta decay. Beta decay, okay, all right. So we can consider the three types of decay. So let's say we start with the unstable end, so we're going to have lead, unstable right here, um, 82, 210. Now, if this, we want to form bismuth from this lead, this lead will have to emit a beta particle, right? Because once we have a radioactive substance emitting a beta particle, what we'll see is that the atomic number will increase by one. One. Right? So when this emits a beta particle, we can write in our beta particle. Um, let me just use E, right? Emit our beta particle. Yeah, I'll go back and let's see the question and the yeah. question asks. All right, sir. All right, we're good now? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. So we have this beta, sorry, this lead emitting a beta particle. Right? Now again, as I said, a beta particle is just a high-speed electron. So when this emits a beta particle, the atomic number will increase by one. So we're gonna say that beta particle plus, uh, we're gonna get bismuth, which is Bi, its atomic number is gonna increase by one. So it's gonna be 83, and the mass number will remain the same, right? So once it emits a beta particle, the Mass number remains the same, but the atomic number increases by one. Okay? Yes, please. Right? So then now, now we're going to have... That's the first equation. That's the first equation. Right? Then now, we're going to have bismuth now. Right? Bismuth, let's say, was 83 and 210. Right? But bismuth now, going on go to beta 2. Right. So the bismuth is going to take on a beta decay. Right? And give off this. Right? So when it so this is gonna increase by one. The atomic number increases by one, the mass number stays the same. So it's gonna form polonium. Right? So it's gonna form polonium, which is 84, 2, and 210. Yes. Then now we're gonna have that polonium now is gonna undergo a decay. Right? And remember our objective is to form stable lead, right? Right? And stable okay. lead. Stable lead, let's say, was lead 82 and uh, lead 206, right? With atomic number 82 and mass number 206. So for us to get from 84, alpha. right? So we're going to have to undergo a alpha decay. And remember with an alpha decay, right? The <laughs> Minus um, 4 and minus 2. Right. The atomic number reduces by 2 and the mass number reduces by 4. So what we're going to get is that we're going to get our alpha particle plus... So we start get, with polonium 210 and 82. No, wait a second. Let me, let me get back to you. So we're going to get lead 206. 
because this goes down by four and this goes down by two and eight to two. So we start with lead, 206, undergoes two, two beta decays, right? And then followed by an alpha decay to form stable lead.